this heartbeat. Uh huh. And here it is executing the instructions. Okay. And then getting the parity error. All right. <laughs> Run. Stop. Yep. All right. And you, you see that it goes from the maximum octal value to 4001, right. where it's supposed to start. So it's doing exactly what it should do. You think it has a broken wire inside. This voltage pin has this inhibit line, but this one is not beeping. It's completely open, basically. Right. Um, this was used for ground testing, so instead of core rope, they would use these core rope simulators that let you feed in your test program from an external computer. We don't have any documentation for this, so I'm trying to figure it out. And what are you working on, Mike? Uh, so I'm working on a little FPGA thing that will simulate uh, the fixed and erasable memories for the computer while we don't have them plugged in. Uh, so this is the FPGA board I'm going to be using, and then because the computer is at 4 volts and this guy's 3.3, this is all of the interface circuits. And we've already tried it without being hooked to the AGC and it's generating the memory bursts. It's three independent SPI style chains, so can't be all three of them bad. Now this definitely makes the decision not to go to Johnson Space Center today feel like Seven. Yeah, we got 16 data inputs in parity. So we're wired up with wired fake up. memory. So we run a trace. Let's do it. So this is a rope only, so that's the big movement. Alright, hold on a second. Right, what do you have in your memory? Uh, Luminary 99, revision 1, the Apollo 11 lunar module program. Okay, <laughs> what is it going to do with it? Uh, I don't know, we'll find with out. With that tram? Yeah. <laughs> it's just wrong. It's, it's okay. Gonna, gonna try to run some things. I'm, I'm armed. All right. Here we go. Um, okay, I have MDT. What about MDT? So. It does all the counters. No, it does the same thing. Oh, yes. It still reads zero zero at four thousand five. Oh. It didn't grab on four thousand six. So let's continue check address wires. Yep. So an SO9, SO1, 2, 3, 4. Yep, you're off by one. Okay, let's try again. Yeah. Okay, run. Okay, uh, uh, I'm stuck at one. Not doing very well here. Yeah, so this one is a flat liner. <laughs> it never went anywhere. So this is what the AGC has requested for me to give it. So our first instruction is a 4, uh, which I can look at the listing for the program we're running. Uh, that's an in hint, uh, so inhibit interrupts. And so the next word we loaded was uh, 782C, which is uh, 34054, which is uh, 
clearing out fixed go bb. So that is correct. That is our second instruction in the program. So this is the final version of our memory simulator. Uh, we've added in all of the erasable addressing lines and the uh, data inputs from the G register to the erasable memory. And so now it's simulating both fixed and erasable memory uh, running uh, Retread 44. Mm -hmm. Do you want to point out the new connectors? Yeah, so it's all of these guys here and then a couple other various wires around the back lane. Cord. On. Okay. There it is. <clears throat> and so here's the program we executed. So every every vertical line here is a word that was read out of either erasable or fixed memory. Um, and so, you know, it, it generated, or it, it went through a whole bunch of instructions, uh, mostly without errors. Oh, let me zoom in a little closer. So, parting words, we, uh, it, we went further than we thought, oh, yeah. uh, but we're out of time. We got powered up, we got through a few instructions at work, mm -hmm. uh, we checked interrupt, we checked increments, and then we got into the memory. Right. So we have the big memory failure. Yeah, basically we just have one failure, but it's a hard to fix failure. Right. Well, we'll work right. on it. And, and, and have a nice owner that lets us, that lets us touch it. Yes, thank right. you, Jimmy. Um, thank so you. That's Over there, Mr. Owner <laughs> should be thanked for Preserving. Very happy. Well, preserving it and letting a, a band of crazy guys touch it and, <laughs> and, and try to power it up. So thank you, Jimmy. I'm just so happy. Right. And then we have to so grateful. Figure out what's the next step. Uh, if we need to move here for another bunch of time, if we need to move some piece of the machines to the lab, or I'll let you figure that one up. But right now, got yeah. got to go. Got to get the plane. <laughs>